hi everybody and I'm just going to go through a bit of an application um, video with you um, but I just wanted to talk about a sheet so you'll see that I often talk about $22 a sheet or buy three get one free so this is a sheet so on a sheet you've got um, your one mani here so you've got five um, wraps that make a mani you've got your two on the end here and they make the pedicure so you cut this one into eight and that gives you a petty. And then the four in the middle here, they're what we call accent nails, or um, you can use them for sizing. So if your nails are quite large, you may not use that one, you would use these five instead. Um, so that's a sheet. So great value for money, two manis, two petties, and some accent nails. This one here that I'm showing you is our new one of our new catalogue wraps called Royal Bliss. So if you have any questions about that, um, they don't have to be used for manis and petties. They can be used just for manis or just for petties. Um, you know, you just use the smaller wraps for your smaller toes, obviously. If you don't want to muck around cutting them up, you just, you know, pop this one on your big toe and paint the rest of them. That, you know, the options are endless. So I just wanted to touch on that to show you what a sheet is. And when I'm talking about a sheet, that's $22 right there. Buy three, get one free, $66. So it works out about $5 um, Per mani, which you would never get a mani for at the salon. So I'm going to pop a nail on now. I've just got a little sample one here that I'm going to pop on. Actually, I might pick a coloured one. It'd be easier to see. So I've got a coloured wrap here that I'm going to pop on. Um, the first thing I um, would do, and I have already done, is just run this over my nail pushing the cuticle down, making sure that there's no extra skin or extra cuticle um, up on my nail, but my nail's good to go. Next, um, you wipe with an alcohol wipe, and I have already done that. I like to do this step quite early in the um, application because sometimes if the, the alcohol is still wet, the wrap will just slide right off. So I like to do that early on, and I have already done that. So... This is our Jamberry Mini Heater. I've talked about it before. Amazing product. Turning it on, it's now on. So it's not very noisy, it gets super hot, and it doesn't blow it away. So, you know, if you were, um, if you were to do a um, hair dryer, then the wrap might go flying across the table. So, you know, if you're at home using a hairdryer, use some tweezers to hold your wrap. So, I've cleaned my nail, I've done my cuticle, I'm now going to pop it on. So when you've got a whole sheet, it's a bit easier, but you just wanna fold it down, and using the cuticle stick, you want to um, hold the wrap. So you don't wanna to touch the wrap, and it's up to you. You can cut it in half first, or um, do it this way and pop the wrap on the cuticle stick and then cut it in half. Alright, so I've got half and half. Then you just want, this is just a standard glossy uh, wrap, adhesive side to the heater. About three to, three to five seconds. One, two, three. As you can see, the wrap is curled a little bit. It's ready to go. So we pop it on now. And we pop it so that it's not touching the skin anywhere and it's just up from the cuticle, which it is. Now, I personally push it down with my fingers and make sure that it's all bonded on. You can use a um, purple cuticle pusher, which is what um, Jamberry use in their videos, and this comes in the application kit, to just smooth down the sides from the inside out. Okay. If you've got an air bubble, you can heat up the um, you can heat up this plastic thing and run it along. Okay. So my wrap's on. I'll just give it a little tug. It's it's stuck there. It's not going anywhere. And I just want to show you if you just have a look there. We always talk about embracing the gap in with Jamberry so that the wrap isn't actually touching the side of your nail. It's nice and bonded to the actual nail. So you don't want it touching skin anywhere. So mine's good, not touching the skin. So as you can see, I've got a lot of overhang now. So the next step for the overhang is you just trim it off as close to the natural nail as possible. And that's it, okay? So we've done that. 
And my mini heat is still on, so I don't know if you can hear it, but it's actually nice and quiet. This is a um, just a standard grit nail file. This is the Jamberry one. Just filing off the edge. Now, if you have a look, I'll do it on the top here. It's all, all the excess is flaking off. So that there is excess wrap that's come off. So we just file it to get it all off. And there it is. So that's the excess right there. That was the little bit that I couldn't chop off. And then I personally like to run a glass nail file over it now. And that just gets the ratty edges off. So always filing in a downward motion, never across. You don't want to um, rip the wrap. You don't want the wrap to move um, if you were to go sideways. So always down. I always like to have a look. And always on a 45 degree angle because you want to get a bit off the tip there so that the, um, the wrap doesn't start to get frayed on the edges. So that's it. I've just done a Jamberry application. You might just see this gel here. It's been on um, two weeks now and it's good. No chips, no nothing. Um, got a bit of growth there you might notice. And it actually goes quite well with this wrap. So that's a wrap application, easy, done, and you just do that for each finger. Um, last step, always just give it one more bit of heat so that it stays on and you know it's bonded. Heat and pressure to end with. Always end with heat and pressure. Turn my heater off now. And that's it. That's a wrap application. If there's any questions, feel free to ask them um, on the thread of this video. Thanks very much, girls. Bye.